we're going to talk about uh, another industry that's been hard hit by the pandemic. It's been another tough weekend for the box office. Liam Neeson's Honest Thief uh, taking just $3.7 million in North American ticket sales. And guess what? It was the number one, number one film. This time last year, the second installment of Maleficent uh, earned 10 times that amount. Uh, we did get a little good news, though, this weekend. Uh, New York's governor, Andrew Cuomo, uh, saying that uh, theaters outside of New York City now have permission to open at 25 percent capacity, and they can start doing that this Friday. Joining us right now is Adam Aaron. He is AMC Entertainment's president and CM CEO. AMC will be serving guests in 44 of the 45 states. It has theaters beginning on Friday. I think the real question I'd ask you is, you know, how many people you think, what's the capacity going to look like? And do you think you can fill whatever whatever limited capacity has been created here? Well, you know, uh, the news from Governor Cuomo on Saturday was a monumental step forward for the cinema industry. Uh, I think the governor, by the way, has done a fabulous job managing the virus. Remember what New York looked like in March when it was the epicenter of infection in the United States, and now it's been tamed. Uh, AMC has been able to open our theaters across the country. Now that we can open in New York, uh, New York State first, but that means New York City is right behind. Uh, that also means that the Christmas movies are going to hold. That should mean that we will see new blockbuster movie titles in 2021. Uh, you know, like the airline industry, we're doing a fraction of what we did a year ago. But the question is what, not what we were doing yesterday. It's what, we will, what will we be doing over the next three, six, nine months. And I, I think finally with New York Open, our future, we can say our future is bright again. Adam, just, just, just walk through this, though. What is what is going to be the limited capacity in each theater at the, starting Friday for you? Uh, in New York? 25%, uh, I believe, 50%? I think the governor has limited us to 25% in the theaters in which we open. Around the country, AMC has been uh, depending upon the theater and the locale, has had a seat limitation of 20 to 40 percent. But you have to put those numbers in perspective. Uh, movie theaters aren't typically full. Uh, our industry is a church built for Easter Sunday. Last year, when AMC sold more tickets than any cinema chain in the world, we only filled 17 percent of our seats, one-seventh, 17 percent. So this capacity limitation is not the issue for us. The issue for us is making sure that we have blockbuster movies that will appeal to consumers so consumers come to theaters. And we have only had right. one but, but, major but Adam, film release but, but, since March of 2020. Adam, That's going to change. Adam, you're an expert on your industry more than I am, but my understanding of the business is that there are tentpole films, which you know so very well about, where you have 100% capacity uh, filled, and those are the very, very profitable films. And then there are other films that either stay in the theater, frankly, for too long or get in the theater and really never get gain some traction. And that's what takes these averages down to such low levels. And so the real question is whether these tentpole films are going to be put in theaters. And if they were, whether you'd actually be able to make a profit because you'd only be limited to having a 25 percent occupancy. Well, we, number one, we do expect that 25% capacity limit is going to increase. Remember, I said we're already much higher than that around the, around the country. But the way you frame the question, you're about two-thirds right. You are right that tent poles drive our volume. But even the tent pole pictures do not sell out. And if they do, they might sell out for opening night, not even opening weekend. And those, those movies run for eight, ten weeks. So uh, the, we've, we've very carefully modeled these seat limitations on our capacity. That really doesn't take many people out of our theaters. The issue is consumer right. demand. And, the, and what, what will drive consumer demand is if we have movie titles. You know, we're in sort of, we're a new car dealer uh, and there have been no new cars that have been manufactured. We've had one major movie since March. Now that's all gonna change. Uh, especially now that New York uh, is on the brink of opening. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.